Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In the last video, I talked about non-seasonal ARIMA models and I talked about the order of the AR process and the order of MA process denoted by P and uh, Q respectively. And then we may need to take the difference of uh, a time series uh, to make it uh, stationary. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of uh, fitting uh, the ARIMA model in R using uh, the auto ARIMA function. And for this example, I'm going to use uh, the data of uh, the change in consumption in the US uh, and the data looks uh, something like this. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the model using this auto arima function. And the first argument in the auto arima function is our data set, which is consumption. And then I'm going to make seasonal false because our data is a uh, non-seasonal. Later on, I'll talk about how to fit the ARIMA model for the seasonal data. The auto ARIMA, it uh, did not take the difference of uh, this series. That is the series consumption was integrated of uh, degree zero or it was level stationary. That is, it was stationary to begin with. That is why no differencing was required to make uh, this series uh, stationary. And then there is one AR process included in the model that is we included one lag of uh, consumption as an explanatory variable and then we included uh, three moving average uh, processes on the right hand side. Now based on this we can uh, forecast our model by passing uh, our fitted model and then forecasting uh, based on this uh, fit model and we are interested in forecasting for the next uh, two and a half years that is 10 time periods because our data is uh, quarterly and these are our forecasts and uh, we can include 80 percent confidence interval by auto plotting include equals 80 in our command line and this way r will plot 80 percent confidence interval along with uh, our point forecasts and we can see that r is using uh, this model uh, to forecast uh, the u.s consumption so this was the way of uh, estimating a non-seasonal uh, ARIMA model. We can write uh, this model as uh, because our variable is uh, consumption and uh, we included um, one AR process in the model. C is our constant. So this was uh, the consumption with the lag and then we have uh, three MA processes included uh, in this model and then we have the other. So this is the way of estimating uh, an ARIMA model without seasonality in it and writing down uh, the model. And essentially we can calculate the value of uh, C in this model. So this was uh, the ARIMA model of the form of uh, PD and uh, Q. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.